Hey guys, this is All Things Exotic. I was just going to kind of show you my little reptile collection here. So, um, first off we have, this is Lexi, my fire skinks enclosure. And she is kind of buried herself because that's what she does. There she is. And as you can just see, she's beautiful, but let me try to grab her here. There. You can see why they call them fire skinks because they got that, that really bright red going down their neck. But yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. She's about a year old. Um, that's how long she is. She'll she'll only get a couple inches longer. Um, but yeah, that's Lexi, the fire skink, and she just buries herself right back under there. She doesn't come out a lot. Alright. And second in the collection, this is just um this is actually my doobie roach colony that I'm um, breeding to feed to my collection. Um, they're babies right now. Let's see if I can find one. There you go. There's one right there running around. And they get much bigger, but it's just they're babies right now. I couldn't. Um, the uh, local pet store that I have around here doesn't have any adults, so I only have babies. There's two right there. You know, just kind of running around. And um, third here is I have a colony of Madagascar hissing cockroaches right there. As you can see, that thing is huge. Um, the male is somewhere in there, and they're breeding right now. You can see I got them in a critter keeper, so nothing too extravagant for them. Um, but yeah, I have two in there. Um, I named them Cheech and Chong. I'm pretty sure that pretty soon I'll have a bunch of little babies, which will be good. And these guys will take a little bit longer to breed. Actually, a lot longer to breed since it'll take a couple months for them to reach sexual maturity. And then after they reach sexual maturity, then they breed. So that could take a very, very long time. And um, the one thing I like about Dubia roaches is, is that they don't climb. You see the, the Madagascar hissers, they climb like crazy. That's why I have to have this closed off. This I don't need to have closed off because they cannot climb up smooth surfaces. And they don't smell. Neither do the hissers, but that's just a pro. They don't smell. And they don't fly. Neither of them. Neither of the species flies. So over here, I have this little... Um, screen vivarium that I set up all nice. I just like the way it looks with the with the pathos vines. Over here, back there, I have a toke gecko, and his name is Vader because he is very mean, kind of like Darth Vader. So let's get in closer here. He might puff up at you. There he's right there looking at us. He, I don't, you know, I don't want to stress him out. But if I were to get any closer, he would open his mouth and probably jump at us and try to bite. He is a mean little sucker. Um, that's about his full size. He, I, I don't handle him because um, what's well, too stressful for him, and he's really mean. He's drawn blood multiple times. He's really just a display um, animal. Um, he, you know, he's he's beautiful, and he just looks really nice in here with this vivarium. Um, so yeah, he's my uh, adult male toke gecko. Okay, and then up here, this is just a little rack that I've set up where I have my large crickets in there and then my, my small crickets in there. I don't breed crickets because they smell, they're loud, and they're only 14 cents, so I can just keep buying them. And I'm hoping to not feed crickets after I get my roach colonies um, really healthy because the meat to shell ratio on crickets, I don't know the, what it is exactly, but it's really it's really bad and there's just a whole lot more meat and less shell in these various roaches and they just don't smell so that is another pro um, this guy is my favorite I have a six foot long um, terrarium for this guy um, I have a huge water area over there the little waterfall right here um, with the basking spot He's a little guy right there. He is my Chinese water dragon. He's a juvenile. As you can see, if I put my finger next to him, he's about as long as my finger. 
um, snout to vent, not snout to tail. But um, he's a he's pretty a recent addition to the collection. Um, he's he's not really very active right now because it is about nine o'clock right now, so he's tired. And these lights are usually off. I have them set on a timer, but they have them on so that I can make this video. Um, I have a huge, I actually have three lights right here, but this huge one is a, um, it's a floodlight. And it is 250 watts. Yeah, I didn't know that they had that big of light, so you could just buy at Walmart. 250 watts. It gets about 126 degrees. If you get up to the tip of that log, um, so yeah, it gives him plenty of heat, and he can go up and down wherever he wants to bask. So, you know, that's good for him. He needs that much heat. Uh, you can see he's looking at us right now. He did, he's, a, he's a juvenile, so he's still nervous about everything. Still a little unsure about me. He's just starting to get heated up and active because I just got him maybe two weeks ago. So he's just getting used to his new environment. Um, yeah, he's beautiful. He is a juvenile, and I hope to make more videos to show you him growing. And so then, this takes us to our last reptile. And you can't really tell, I mean, the light's not on because he doesn't need lights. Um, but this is just moss on the ground with, um, moss and... Um, driftwood, so nothing too fancy, and it's hard to see this on that. But this is my baby crusty, my good little crusted gecko. Her name is Lily. We can take her out because she's pretty tame. Come here, sweetie. There we go. Yeah, she is just she's one, she's she's my second favorite. Um. She's just beautiful. You can tell. I mean, I think that um, crusties are just so beautiful. But uh, that's just an introduction of my collection right now. This is probably going to be as many as I'm going to have for a while because let just alone each day takes about an hour to go through for each. You know, to do every individual animal that I'm keeping right now. I also do saltwater tanks and have breeding rabbits, so that takes up. A huge chunk of time and um, not cheap either so this will probably be it for my collection but I will be putting care videos on each animal and um, how to tame and do pretty much anything you need to know so any comments or questions just uh, comment below thank you for watching all things exotic